subscribe and ring the bell to never miss an update. Hello everyone. Today on Lady Mary Bath, we're in the heart of downtown Franklin, Tennessee. I'm taking you inside Winchester Antique Mall, a fabulous store full of English antiques, unique finds, and we will also discover an eclectic mix of vintage and modern. Join me. Delighted to take you inside the Winchester Antique Mall. They are located on 2nd Avenue in Franklin, Tennessee, America's favorite small town. And it's definitely a destination. I encourage you to take a look and pop into Winchester Antiques. They are open seven days a week and they even offer gift cards. You might want to follow them on social media. Welcome to Winchester Antique Mall. There are so many great items in here we can discover together and vibrant colors, things from the past that we can use in today's modern world. Let's take a look inside this lovely store. Stylish and efficient kitchenware. The blue and white striped pottery might seem familiar to you. Perhaps you have seen it in TV shows and movies, anything from the 1920s to mid-century. And there are actually two companies that we'll talk about today. The Ironstone is a classic. And as you can see, it can be used to hold utensils, even though it might have another purpose, such as a syrup pitcher or for milk. And wouldn't that be a great addition to your everyday? The famous Cornish wear is that traditional blue and white stripe. And they have made tea sets and all kinds of kitchen utensils. TG Green & Company is the back stamp you want to look for, and that means it's authentic. It was first produced in 1924. A similar item made in the 1960s by Staffordshire Potteries is chefware, made in the Cordon Bleu with that beautiful blue stripe. And this is also a great addition to your tea table. And $38, wouldn't that be a wonderful item to even gift to a friend? A chef's dream with great open storage and some drawers down below for kitchen essentials or even table linens. It'd be perfect for napkins and you've got some storage underneath as well. This is something you don't find often in antique stores. What a fabulous addition to your kitchen this would be. The English Oak Welsh Dresser is $3,975 and they featured oyster plates and some copper kitchen essentials. Time to put the kettle on. This is $148. Some fabulous kitchen finds. Amongst the kitchen essentials, we have something quite special, an English mahogany tea caddy. And I'm going to show you some more that I found in the store and tell you a bit about this interesting history. Let's open up this tea caddy and learn a bit about the history. This is $395. It is made of mahogany. And you'll see it's got two compartments can't imagine today we have tea all over our house and the coffee tea bar but at one time it was something quite valuable. Tea canisters were originally made of blue and white Chinese porcelain in the shape of ginger jars. Over time they evolved into rosewood or mahogany boxes and it was quite the status symbol often under lock and key and many had details such as mother of pearl, inlay, and this is a fabulous example. And look at the detail inside with the velvet lining, the two compartments. This is from 1880 and it is $475. The dome shaped is extra special because it means something cannot be stacked on top. Another example of the coveted contents. And it's derived from the Chinese word caddy, which is a Chinese unit of measurement equivalent to 600 grams. It's a measurement by which tea was sold. The English adopted the word caddy as a container for tea. They're great examples here in the store. This one is 295. 
And now we're going to take a look at another unique item that you may have seen in shops before and didn't quite understand the use, and I'll tell you all about it. It's where style meets function. Antique curtain tie backs are actually quite hard to find. They were popular in affluent homes in the late 1800s, and the ones that are hand painted are even more rare. Of course, you could incorporate this into your home decor in other ways. It could be on a side table, an item of interest, put it under a cloche. My friend Judy has these and she actually uses them in her living room. And this particular one is $48 and they've got some beautiful selections today. It's not often that you find such a great selection in one store and there's something for every decor. The antique sandwich glass tiebacks are also quite lovely in the opalescent glass. This larger one is 58 and this one here is $46. You could actually use them together, but you know, such a lovely addition in any way you choose to use these. A truly unique type of painting and design that I had actually not seen before. Rabbit wear is transfer wear with spatter or cut sponge decoration. And the patterns may be amongst the earliest novelty patterns, similar to themed Christmas or Turkey Thanksgiving patterns we might have today. And many are luncheon size. Much of this has been imported by a Boston firm and ties can be traced to the Smith Patterson Company, a high-end retailer in Boston from 1879 to 1959. Another great reason to shop your local antique mall is you walk in the door and learn something you didn't know before. A great collection of rabbit wear here, which is a combination of transfer wear and painting. This was made in England for the Pennsylvania Dutch market. The earliest rabbit wear patterns have rabbits, frogs, trees, and fences in various combinations along different stick sponge designs. And you'll notice the borders are slightly different on some of these plates. Let's take a closer look on the red that is known as the Virginia Rose variant, whereas this one is the Adams Rose. This teapot has such stunning colors. Absolutely gorgeous. A stunning teapot from Masons, a company that started in 1813 as an affordable option for Chinese porcelain. They were known for their rich colors, and it's absolutely an incredible piece from 1815 to 1825. It's in the water lily pattern, and it is $475. I will share many more Masons pieces with you today in that beautiful ironstone, including some tazas. These are 18th century English sauce terrines, not soup terrines, with the underplates in the Amari pattern. They're $800 for the pair. Rich detail, including in the finial and handles. Imagine the tables on which these would have been placed for serving those wonderful meals. Definitely opulent. And here are some of those tazas. This is something we have discussed in a recent segment on compotes. I will link that above so you can take a look at that. And this is quite a collection. Look at that beautiful back stamp, Mason's patent, Ironstone China from England. And these may have come from one home and that would have been for serving table side. And perhaps that would be for the dessert or fruits and cheeses. And they're actually quite affordable if you wanted to add one to your collection at $85 each. Compotes can be used in so many ways. The Tazas are $75 and the compotes very well priced at $85. Look at all this detail in the style of George III. These are fantastic. Another interesting tea caddy with attention to detail in the oval handles of either side for tea storage and something different in the center. Here's a fantastic tea caddy from 1790 in the style of George III mahogany with inlay. It is $715. Lots of detail, including the glass insert. So many wonderful tea caddies here today. I wonder if you might know the use of this crystal vessel in the center here from 1790 England. Any guesses? This would have served as the waste bowl. You would put your tea leaves here after you've brewed the tea 
And here is the original key. Here's a peek inside the tea caddy. You can definitely see the age. And remember, this is from about 1790. That's something I would like to add to my collection. And now let's look at something that you would have found in an apothecary, what we would call pharmacy today. And that's back when pharmacists would definitely make their own medicine from supplies. This is a bank of drawers from about 1880. It's $4,050. It's definitely a unique item. Look at the detail inside those drawers and everything is perfectly labeled. Something you don't see every day. And a biscuit barrel for $195. And that literally looks like a barrel. Typical English style. And a utility piece, something you would place on your tea table for every day. It's not meant to be fancy, but it is sturdy and definitely safeguards those biscuits. Well lined. That's a great classic piece. And my favorite barley twist we're seeing here and candlesticks and a lamp. These are definitely authentic. So many of the dealers import from England. $185 for the pair of candlesticks. And this you also see in a lot of period pieces as well. 215 for the barley twist lamp. And now I've got lots more to show you in my favorite English design style. This shop definitely does not disappoint. Attention to detail, hand carving. Wouldn't this be a great addition to a home office? You could actually place that anywhere, an entryway, bedroom. And the chair is caned. Great legs. Barley twist is something that makes my heart sing. It is a type of wood furniture styling that was popular in the 1600s in France and England and had a resurgence in England in the 1800s. And it is named barley twist because it resembles the barley sugar twists that were popular in that era. Modern day furniture designers look to this for inspiration. I invite you to take a look at a previous segment showcasing my English barley twist teacup cabinet, something my parents sourced in Texas that's from England, and it's actually been to Asia and back by airmail. Lots to share with that segment. This is a gate leg table that is a space saver, should be embraced by modern generations. For $725, you've got a quality table. So many options here in this booth. Now let's take a look at some more tea caddies. Just can't get enough of these. More here than I've ever seen in one store. We've got that center crystal waste bin as well. And that's 375. Stunning. Even the keyhole has that shield shape that keeps it interesting and fresh. And this is 395 for the domed tea caddy. And remember, that's something that's unique with inlay because that means that nothing can be stacked on top of it. Definitely a precious commodity. Here's an English barley twist umbrella stand. That's something that would be perfect for your entryway and quite useful as well. They're giving us some ideas here of things that we could add to our home and China. They definitely have an abundance here in the store. And everything has a bit of history. Here's some Crown Derby, cups and saucers, and some dessert plates. Look at the detail there. Beautiful back stamp with the crown. It definitely shows its age. It's something very unique that you don't find today. Love that rich blue and orange. Crown Derby was established in 1750. Look at those vibrant colors. And it was first made as a royal commemorative for the coronation of George III. And in 1890, it received a royal warrant, which became Royal Crown Derby. Lots of unique transferware to discover here in this case. 
We've got so many different colors and approaches to setting tables from the classic to colorful. There's that Amari with the beautiful rich colors of blue, red, and gold and the classic blue and white and even the black transfer wear. I see some Majolica gives us so many different ideas for approaching a table setting, including this rare transferware lamp. And it is rare because of the transferware color in that cranberry shade is $384. Absolutely gorgeous. It's got a ship theme with a castle. And that's something you don't see every day. This is a unique designer, and it is a company still in business today, Röhrstrand, remember that name. And surprisingly, it is owned today by Fiskers, the scissors company that also owns Waterford Crystal and a host of other European tabletop brands. And the vendor gives us lots of great information on that back stamp. Swedish transferware. It is sort of a lilac color, and this is a bargain at $36. It's a company that was founded in 1726 under the direction of a German porcelain manufacturer, and his name was Johann Wolf Röhrstrand. And the dealer gives us lots of information here on the back stamp, and it is truly a lovely piece, the second oldest pottery or china brand in Europe. Second to, can you guess? Meissen Porzellan. The Waterford Crystal Honey Pot or Jam Jar. It's $48, another great example of how you can find wonderful gifts for under $50 at your local antique mall. Wedgwood Jasperware. This definitely would be an antique. That's not a color that was made even in the 60s. Definitely prior to that with that pewter lid. And I'm thinking one of the creamers would make a great gift. You could fill it with florals and then maybe share your top 10 uses, whether it's for holding makeup brushes, using it for tea time. $42, that's a very good price. And I see a curtain tie back that is placed as an item of interest on this mirrored base. It's beautiful brass and from the late 1800s, it's $45. Lots to discover in this booth as well. And they've got some great furnishings, whether you have an entry table, a chest of drawers, even lamps. When you are looking for furniture, I do encourage you to check your local antique mall instead of shopping retail. And for your kitchen, here is an all-purpose open storage with our favorite blue and white spode pottery and a tea set that will surprise you as being from one of our favorite teapot manufacturers that many of us collect. The Sadler Company. Would you have imagined that in these beautiful Imari style colors? It is $110 for the three pieces. The gold finial and handle just makes it exquisite. And that's something I would love to add to my teapot collection. Of course, you could use your white teacups with it. And you see that Sadler back stamp made in England. This would have been placed on top of a matching meat tray to collect the juices, $98.50. These are actually highly collectible to be used as wall hangings. Another look at that beautiful blue and white spode transfer wear. Let's look at the back stamp there. Landscape, midwinter England. Reminds me of the spode you find today. And flow blue is highly collectible. Originally, it was sort of a misprint and became popular. The new wharf design. They've got quite an extensive collection. Look at that attention to detail with the gold, $59 for the plate. And this cover dish is from about 1890. It's $148. Let's take a peek inside and you will see lots of detail there. Quite impressive. And in this case, we have some silver quadruplate, an entire tea set from the 1850s from Rogers Brothers in Hartford, Connecticut. 
a beautiful set. And we've talked about quadruplate at length in a previous segment on MAM resale and their Heights location. And one of you called to purchase the entire set from the store. I would love to hear from you if you want to private message me. So happy for you to have that quadruplate set. And you could probably contact the store if you were interested in something you've seen today at Winchester Antiques. And we have even more to discover here in the gold room. Can't wait to show you all of these amazing treasures. It's the Gilded Age here with the Edwardian style satinwood cabinet and the Swedish gilt wood clock. From the neoclassical period, this clock is in good working order with the key. It's from about 1780 and it is 3,600. The Breche Violet marble lamp with the gilt bronze mount, fantastic at $950. And it is from France from about 1900. And the Edwardian era does not disappoint. Got some great items that represent that time as well, which of course was when King Edward was on the throne. And that's after the Victorian era, of course. The Satinwood style cabinet, 2,600 from England. And that's not something you find in your average antique store. Quite the treasure trove for the collector. And a fire screen with an interesting history. A gilt wood fire screen with an Aubusson tapestry with a young boy. It actually has the Christie's sticker on the back. It's from an auction house in Paris. Isn't this fantastic? And the price on this fire screen is 985 and it's from about 1800. Also some lovely mirrors and wall art. You can definitely create a room just shopping in this one store. And this mirror is also interesting. You can see the age because the mirror itself is a bit, not necessarily damaged, but with time that does happen, which just adds to its interest. It's from France from about 1730, a Regency carved gilt wood mirror. Chinoiserie is well represented in some new textiles. These pillows are lovely, $195, and they are custom made. I love an antique shop that has an eclectic mix of new and old, and it can make it a little bit more relevant for your everyday living. And we've got some more classic blue and white chinoiserie, and this alcove here I thought was quite interesting with some treasures, including Wedgwood Jasperware in that salmon pink, classic blue, and sage green. And at $98, this candelabra is quite something. I would say that's probably from Bavaria. And these are all affordable pieces from Blue Willow to some decorative objects. A Staffordshire couple. You can incorporate that into a wedding, a celebration. And some more of that lovely Amari. And you can see it's a nice decorative piece as well, not just for table side service. And this is a Georgian box from England, 265. And that large Imari picture is 148. And you'll notice the definite detail on the handle there. Something I've never seen in a picture. And that smaller one is $88. Oh, we've even got a mini creamer here for 78 from Mason's, the beautiful back stamp a wall of art here, and I'm going to take you to the other side and we'll discover some more treasures together. And this booth is a very English feel. We've got some great pieces here, including a brass horse, which I found interesting because my daughter has the identical one that we sourced at an antique shop in Belleville, Texas, many years ago, probably 18 years ago. And this is $138. She uses hers as a doorstop. Suppose you could just place it on a shelf for a decorative item or even use it maybe as a book holder. 
lots in this store. I just can't begin to tell you how much fun it is to shop Winchester. Now we're going to go out back and discover another part of the antique mall. And this is all about Scarlet Scales, a very unique local designer. And you may have read about her in some of the magazines and publications. She is quite well known. And her family originates from Franklin, Tennessee. And her shop is quite an experience. It's the best of both worlds. Scarlet Scales is a local celebrity and an accomplished designer. She mixes the vintage with the modern to create a masterpiece. Let's take a look in her booth, which is the building out back. A lovely display of classic milk glass. That is a tabletop essential that never goes out of style and it matches everything. A great collection of milk glass, including my favorite brand, which is Westmoreland. They are known for their reputation for quality, and that's how they were able to survive the Great Depression. The panel grape design, also one of my favorites, was made from 1940 to 1984. This is well priced at $15 and often overlooked value. Be sure to look for milk glass when you're out at an antique shop. In identifying the era of Westmoreland milk glass, you can look for a back stamp. The W in the keystone was from 1910 to 1929, and here we have a WG stacked logo that was from the late 1940s. There was also another back stamp with Westmoreland encircling the letter W, and that was until 1982. The best of both worlds with classic elements and a modern feel. And you will see how she incorporates decorative elements and tabletop as well. She's got a great linen selection and some vintage china. And pops of color really bring the china to life. A perfect blend of vintage and modern. Here we have some lovely linens here from this great assortment paired with some noritake. This is the Ridgewood pattern. It's got lots of floral detail and it's quite a nice look, including these modern day, very affordable plastic chargers and some vintage flatware. Here's another look at this eclectic table with pops of color, perfect for a spring look. And if you're trying to build a table on a budget, this would be your one-stop shop. $8 for each of the chargers in those calming colors and the classic Williamsburg collection placemats. And these napkins at $8 each definitely change the look of your vintage china, even with white dishes. This would definitely be perfect for spring. And they're also matching placemats. Anytime you put three or more items together, you have a collection. The ironstone pitchers create quite a wonderful story. My mother-in-law has vintage Villarreal Bach pitchers and creamer. She's created a display above her cabinet and it is quite inviting. And Scarlet Scales does a great job of taking something old that maybe you think doesn't have any life left. And she shows us how it is still viable. In fact, this piece is actually sold. And she does add touches of chinoiserie which creates such interest and credibility too, since it's something from the past, even though they might be reproduction. And we see so many different objects that you could add to your table or decor. Brilliant use of a fish platter. Displaying it on an easel opens up possibilities for a boy's room, even a kitchen at $85, love that. From the Napoleon inspired era, Empire Furnishings. It's definitely stately, it's grand, it gets your attention. $465 for this chest of drawers. And Scarlet brings lots of vintage clocks into her displays. That's something that we've had in our family. Usually they're from the kitchen. And she's got quite a collection. And the Staffordshire dogs, known as mantle dogs. Those are classic. Here's another one of those clocks. Even if it's not in working order, it still adds interest to your display. 
the classic blue willow stack of plates what more can you ask for these are from japan 15 dollars each and this pattern has been made by more manufacturers than any other dish pattern it's a classic and mixing it in with that spring green is genius you probably have seen that in a previous segment where i have shared my table with you and the history of chinoiserie now we're going to have a bit of fun with fashion and continuing on the theme of the blue and white chinoiserie. I could not resist in that beautiful blue willow. This was the surprise of the day. I could certainly make a fashion statement with this. $78. The long version is $95, has great detail. This would be easy to pack in your suitcase for traveling. With the creative tie, it actually brings out the hint of purple here. Didn't see that at first glance. And this would definitely be a way to change up your outfit. I'm taking home both of the sizes in the Blue Willow Chinoiserie Duster or Wrap. Great masculine look here with many gift options. The reproduction chinoiserie foot bath is a perfect planter, can be used as a centerpiece. It is $168. Another brilliant idea to incorporate a class photo. It may not be someone in your family, maybe you pick it up at a thrift store, an antique shop, and it definitely adds some interest. Beautiful botanicals that have been framed. So many great gift options here as well, with all different price points. And ear napkins are made in Germany. They also are known for the best quality paper napkins in the world. Kaspari is also made in Germany. And that chinoiserie element makes my heart sing. Made with love in Germany, $6 each. That could be great for decoupage if you're making eggs, something interesting if you happen to be crafty. You could certainly tie a simple ribbon around that and bring it as a hostess gift. Because, you know, blue and white is sort of a, a neutral, goes with everything. A set of 10 forks for $42. These are silver plate. You could polish those up, tie them with a ribbon, and you've got another great gift it does not have to match your flatware set to give as a hostess gift or to use on your table. Duncan five handles on this beautiful sideboard, $1,785. Lots to discover here at Winchester Antiques and Scarlet Scales in the back. And I highly recommend you pop in. I've had such fun today. It's been great fun antique shopping today at the Winchester Antique Mall. Found lots of my favorite barley twist and tea caddies, more than I've ever seen in one place. And a great eclectic mix here at Scarlet Scales. Thanks again for joining Lady Mary Bath. Elevate your everyday with antique shopping.